not make slides like this. This slides doesn't have any formatting nor any transitions. This type of slides are usually boring and outdated. Instead, you can make slides like this. So in this video, we are going to see how to make this type of slides using morph transitions and some basic skills. So to learn how to make this type of presentation, prefer watching this video till the end. So welcome to our channel must watch tips and without wasting time, let's get into the video. Now, first of all, let us change the background and set us a gradient fit. So currently we have a solid fit with no fit. So let us take a gradient fit where you can choose whatever uh, color you want according to your presentation. So let me choose yellow at the top and white at the background, white at the bottom of this uh, gradient. And now let us have a text box where we can have our title. And let me choose the font color as white. Let me make it a bigger. And let us choose this font. So first of all, let us convert this text box into an object. So what we have to do is we have to insert a uh, insert a square object around this text box, and uh, we have we have to select no outline and no shape fit. Now first select the text box and the, the rectangle or the square which we have made and uh, go to format shape and choose intersect over here. So now this text box has been converted to an object class. So our title is done. So now it's time for Eiffel Tower to come in this slide. So you can insert any of the photo you want but make sure to add in png format where there is no background so you can find the image in png format without background background on the internet so meanwhile for the time being let me choose or let me copy the eiffel tower from the slides which i have made already so here you can see that there is no background just the image what we want and let let me put this over here and in similar way you can make another slides also so let me just click over here on the first slide and press ctrl d to duplicate this slide let me just delete this uh, objects and we have another So for the purpose of this video, let me just have these two objects Eiffel Tower and Statue of Unity in my slide and explain it. Now let us work on this slide. So in the first slide, I want this Eiffel Tower only and the title. So let me just duplicate this slide. And in the first slide, let me just uh, drag this out of this slide. Uh, view and this one also let me make it as smaller and bring it down over here or somewhere around here and in the next slide I'll keep this object in in the place wherever I want so I want this Eiffel Tower to be big and this one over here perfect and in the next slide i want the details of the eiffel tower or about the eiffel tower so i'll press ctrl d i'll move this eiffel tower to the right side making a bit smaller and this title as on the left side and making it somewhat adjustable size and now let me just copy the text box of about the title and paste it on our working slide now you can uh, choose the font size or font style according to your convenience so i have taken here the hand extra black font style and 28 as font size choosing the font color to be light brown as it is matching with the background as well as the eiffel tower so now let's look 
what has happened in our presentation or i just forgot the key feature so let me just select one two and three slide number three or you can choose all of your slides and go to transition and apply more transition and now let's look what we had done till now so this is the first slide where we have kept as empty the second slide the eiffel tower and the title the eiffel tower will move to right of this slide and now we have the details of the eiffel tower further let's move to the next slide the statue of liberty so after this i want the statue of liberty to be seen but not as this not in this manner straight away so let me just duplicate this slide slide number 3 and remove the uh, details of the eiffel tower let me move this eiffel tower heading to the right hand side and let me just make this eiffel tower a bit smaller and move this downwards and let us just insert so before this we have to add this two objects and uh, let us have this object a bit apart from this view of the slide and let us make it a smaller and in this one let us have the same set of uh, objects the photo of statue of liberty and the text box in this manner and now in this th fifth number of slide let us have this statue of liberty a bit smaller and in the right side and the text or the heading on the left hand side and the details and in this all we'll apply more transition so let us see now what has been done till now so after this eiffel tower detail the eiffel tower will move downward and statue of liberty will come up and then and then after this transition the statue of liberty will move to the right hand side and the details will come up perfect so one important thing to keep in mind while using mob transition is that you need to have the same set of objects in both the uh, in a common slide where you have to change the objects a bit for example here you uh, want to change your object from uh, eiffel tower to statue of liberty so you need to have statue of liberty and related objects in the slide number 3 itself and then uh, in slide number 4 you need to also have this objects of slide number 3 to move away so that is uh, we kept it over here apart away from the working slide area and in similar way you can add as many slide as you want and make your presentation super awesome if you like this video please consider subscribing this channel and share it with your friends also for more such videos visit our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated and now as a part of this video it's time for a quiz and the question is what do the icons in the image represents and the options are theme colors transitions animations and slide layouts comment down your answer in the below given comment box till then goodbye